Thank you very much. I'm pleased to pay my own tribute to Rodri, a giant of our nation. He was a patriot, a socialist, a democratic socialist, who made a huge difference to our nation. He brought stability to this place in a very troubled time. My own story with Rodri goes back to the 1980s, when I was extremely proud that our branch of the Labour Party was the first to nominate Rodri to be our Member of Parliament for Cardiff West. I will never forget that, and Rodri never forgot that, because the love that that community had for Rodri was immense. He loved the working class there, and they loved him back. And he was authentic in everything, and that authenticity was something that came over very clearly. A little too authentic for some of us. At times, we had to send him home to change his jeans that were too dirty, and he had no shirt and tie, and we had to send him back to smarten himself up a little bit for Ely. But he made a huge impression, a huge impression on our nation. And I just want to pay a quick tribute in poetry. He was a great choice, and Rodri, full of life and fun, a labour man to the core, and may that persist, a giant of the people and a giant of his nation. All our love at this really difficult time, and thank you very much for sharing Rodri with all of us. Julie Marker. Um, Diolch, and um, I wanted to speak um, very briefly just to thank you from all parties um, for your tributes because they are deeply comforting. I know that um, to be First Minister here for Rodri was the pinnacle of his political career, and he loved this place, he loved this Parliament, this Assembly. He also loved the House of Commons. He loved the thrust of politics, and he had enormous enthusiasm for it. I will never forget him going up to the House of Commons, weighed down with bags, and arriving back in the early hours of the morning, because, of course, they were sleepy. You know, they were having these very, very long nights in the House of Commons then. Um, but um, he did enjoy it all enormously. It meant so much to him. Um, but one thing I want to say about Roger that was very important, he never looked back. He made his decisions, and he never regretted them. And so when he left here as First Minister, he never, he never looked back. And he never, he never said to me, oh, I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that. He just looked forward and what he still wanted to do. And the eight years that um, he had after being First Minister, I mean, they were so full and so fulfilled. You know, many people have mentioned um, that here today. You know, he absolutely loved the garden. He had most wonderful crops and he had them all prepared for our big extended family who are here in the chamber today to give them, you know, to give them those uh, vegetables when they came. As Jane said, he just had an extra five new chickens. So I'm going to be very busy looking after the chickens and the, and the vegetables. Um, but he also, you know, did a lot of other things. He's um, nearly finished his book, which I'm sure you'll be all interested to read when it's, um, when it's published. He loved being the Chancellor of Swansea University. Yeah. He was very involved with self-help self, self therapy, a company he was very involved with. So every minute was um, enjoyment, and he really, he really always looked forward. He was immensely fulfilled. And um, we had, um, you know, we've had a bit, it's, I would say, a roller coaster sort of life, with the politics being so roller coaster. You know, it's been uh, rosettes, rosettes all the way. But it's, it's been, you know, it's been wonderful. It's been a huge pleasure. And I really feel that, um, you know, losing Rodri is a, a terrible personal blow to me and to the family. It's like, you know, sort of, well, it is an aching loss. And I know. I haven't realized yet the full enormity. But um, it is very comforting to listen to what everybody has said today and the tributes, you know, from everybody here in the chamber and from all over Wales that we received have been a huge comfort. And, you know, I'd all like to finish by saying really is that he, he had a wonderful life and he enjoyed every minute.